kickingthetires.net started out as a column in a weekly newspaper that I was the managing editor of, uh, branched into a radio show, a weekly radio show on, uh, on a station that I had invested in, and then turned into a blog site, then turned into pretty quickly into a website. And then for that was that that happened, the website happened like in 2007. And then I brought the first employee writer on uh, about 2013. I had summer bed good. And then uh, from there, we have uh, we have blossomed to eight writers that we have at Kicking the Tires. And and it is uh, for the first 15 years, it was completely self-funded. So. Uh, uh, the, the radio show made money. That was the uh, that was the the saving grace. We did make a lot of money off the radio show to keep everything going. And, and I had a job as a an editor in 2012, almost 10 years ago. Uh, I left my job as the editor of the newspaper and went full time with kicking the tires and doing some marketing and some other stuff. Uh, I haven't had a boss uh, since April 23rd of 2012. Other than my wife. You, other you than my wife. The beat of your own drum. Yes. <laughs> So, so, yeah, other than my wife, I haven't had a boss since 2012. Well, man, congratulations, Jerry. It's, uh, man, it's awesome. You, you, man, I've seen you around forever, dude, for, for a long time. There's not many of us that have been around as long as we have, but, man, you have, uh, you have done well for yourself, and that's cool. And so if somebody can say they haven't had a boss in that, that long, of, in that long a period of time, is, uh, that's, that's, uh, you know, that's, um, that's a big thing to be able to say, you know, and uh, you made our sport a better sport. All you guys have, you know, the media coverage and the coverage you bring to the fans. You know, we, you know, we're so fortunate that our, that our great industry of NASCAR racing is how many great fans we have and, and, and what you all bring behind the scenes and report on what the truth of what's going on in the sport. It's just, it's amazing, you know, and I just have a lot of respect for all of you and, and Jerry to, 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 to hear your story, where you came from, where you're at today, it's amazing, man. Did you ever think that it was going to turn out and you would be where we're at today? I had no idea. I, as I told you uh, before the show, I wasn't interested in racing. Um, <laughs> it is what I, I didn't care. This started because my mother and my late sister were huge NASCAR fans, okay? <laughs> and they wrote a letter to the local TV station complaining about not showing races and the the gm of the radio station was a friend of mine and i went to look I, I, they were saying well we're not getting responses we're not you know and radio uh, tv stations are supposed to save all that stuff for their fcc logs well i went and looked at their fcc logs and talked to my buddy who's a gm of the station and he, i'm like they're not there and he was like freaking out he's like like this is a big deal that there were no letters uh that were sent and i was like i know they were sent and uh he's like well just tell them that we're going to start showing it. it, it you know, we'll, we'll, you know, we're supposed to stick to our programming. Uh, it's becoming more and more popular, and uh, and we'll do what we can. But you know, they were showing infomercials and stuff like that. So, long story short, I went to a race. I was hooked, and the newspaper said, "Hey, we need to start sports. What kind of sports can we cover?" Before that, it was all investigative news and hard news and entertainment. And I said, well, we need to do high school football, college football, you know, college sports, what we have locally. I said, but I will on my own time for free and bring in sponsor money and advertising with it to cover NASCAR. And I started covering NASCAR on my own dime for the newspaper in a column called Kicking the Tires. And that's where we're at today. I took it with me when I left in 2012. And uh, here we are. One day I'm going to be grown up and famous like you, David. <laughs> 